Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to set up the stay zones and stay profile on your IDS X64 alarm system. The reason for these stay zones is that it allows you to automatically bypass certain zones so that you can move around your property without it activating the alarm even though the alarm is on. So you have up to four profiles which you can set. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to set it up on the keypad but then I'll also show you how to set it up using the IDS Swift software. I'll also go into more detail about why we have stay profiles. Right now the very first thing you need to understand is that you need to press and hold the mode button. I've pressed and hold it and now it says partition. Now I want to go to stay profile. Now I say star and now it's asking me which stay profile I want to work within. So I'm going to press 1 and star. And why this is important is because the buzz profile and the stay profile are linked to each other. For example, there is a stay profile 1 and a buzz profile 1. A stay profile 2 and a buzz profile 2. And 3 and 4. And the reason why this is important is because a zone cannot be a buzz zone and a stay zone. So in order to do this job properly, you need to understand that there is an option option here which you first need to do and that is the mode option. Now you can set your stay zones but the reason why I did the mode option first and selected my stay profile is because it is linked to the buzz profile and therefore when you're coming to do the buzz profile it will be linked to whatever you had told the panel when you pressed and held the mode button. Now if this is confusing don't worry. I'm now going to show you how to set up a stay profile. Right on the keypad all you need to do is press and hold number three and then you'll see it'll say stay profile profile three. Now do you remember I said you've got up to four profiles so you must now select which profile you want to program. So there we go I'm going to choose number one. So I've chosen number one and I say star. Now you just need to tell the alarm system every zone that must be automatically bypassed when profile one is selected. So if I toggle through my zones, can you see that one says number one, main bed, and it says S, but I know that means sliding door. So that is a sliding door in a bedroom. Now you can see it says no. And the reason why it says N is because I don't want that to be on a stay profile one because I want the door to activate the alarm if it is opened while the alarm is on. So if I go to zone number two, Right, now zone number two says main bedroom passive. Now that is a bedroom which is most probably what you want to be always bypassed under a stay profile. So can you see it says yes, Y for yes. Now if I want to make it no, I just press the star button. And if I want to make it yes, I press the star button again. So you can go through all your zones now and decide what profile you want it to be and whether it must be automatically bypassed for the stay profile or not. So I'll just go through a few of these zones with you. You see that says linen room. Do I want that to be bypassed? Yes, because people may be walking into that linen room while the alarm is activated but stay activated. Stay activated means that certain zones are automatically bypassed allowing you to move around your home or your office while other zones are armed. Right so if I go to another zone you, there you can see it says David room so that is someone's bedroom. So obviously it's got a Y there because I want it bypassed during the stay arm of profile one. Right, so you go through your settings now and you decide which zones must be bypassed and which must not be. So here's an interesting one, it says lounge passive. Now I've separated my house that I don't want the lounge to be bypassed and you can see it's flashing. And the reason it's flashing is not because someone is moving around there, but because it's telling me that this zone has already been allocated to a buzz zone. So that means that the alarm cannot have the same zone as a buzz zone and as a stay zone. Remember the buzz zone is the zone that makes that beep sound when it gets activated or violated. So therefore as you can see I'm trying to activate it as a stay zone but it won't allow me. So the first thing I'd need to do is go and remove it from the buzz zone. So I'm going to exit here now and I'm going to press and hold 4 and then you can see it's giving me the buzz zones. So right, so if I want to change zone 7, and you see it says yes, buzz zone. So I'm going to make it no, and then I'm going to exit. Now I can go back to my stay arms. Yes, I'm still with profile 1. And I'm going to go back to zone 7 
And can you see that it now allows me to select a zone 7, which is the lounge passive, as a stay zone. So I'm just showing you what to do if you get to the problem of it not allowing you to select it. So the reason why it wouldn't allow it is because it was already a buzz zone. All right, so now you know how to select your zones for profile one. So if you wanna go through this again, you can see you can go through your zones and you can decide, all right, there you see I've got lounge sliding door. It says no, and that's keeping with the same principle. I want all my doors to activate the alarm if they are opened, even if it's stay arm one, which means that stay arm one on this alarm system for profile one is only allowing the bedrooms to be automatically bypassed. And then have a look at that. It's now flashing, which is also telling me that this particular zone, which again is a door, has already been set to a buzz profile. This is very useful because if someone opens a door by mistake, instead of just activating the alarm and sending the signal to the control room of your alarm company, it'll at least give you that warning because it will go beep, telling you that you've opened or somebody has violated a zone, then you can go and check and decide if you want it to continue and then send the signal to the alarm company or if you will just disable your alarm. All right, so there you go. I've shown you how to set profile one. I'll quickly show you how to set profile two. You follow the same principle. You press and hold three. It's asking you which state profile do you want to select? So now I have profile two and in this case, let me go to profile three because I've already set my profile three. And in my profile three, I've allowed the doors to also be automatically bypassed. And I'd just like to show you that. So it's asking you which zone number. So can you see that I scroll through the zones using the arrow up and arrow down key. Now it says their main bedroom sliding door. So do you remember that on profile one, that was a no which meant that if someone opened the door, the alarm would automatically go off. Now, can you see that it says main bedroom sliding door and it says yes, meaning that if somebody opens the door when I've set the stay arm to profile three, nothing will happen because you can open it because you've set it to be automatically bypassed. And then as you go through it, you see main bedroom passive, yes and uh, the linen room, yes. So you can see that it may be a good method if you start with profile one as your most secure. Maybe you've only got a few rooms or offices that are bypassed. And then maybe profile two might be a few offices and an entrance. And then maybe profile three is a few offices and even a driveway. And maybe profile four is all the internal rooms, driveway, and then beams and things like that outside are still automatically armed. All right, so there you see how to do that. And while we're here, I just want to show you quickly the buzz profile because as you can see that the buzz profile works hand in hand with the stay profile because if it's set to buzz, it cannot be set to stay. You have to choose one or the other. So I'm now going to change the buzz profile by going into mode, stay profile, and now I'm gonna say three, because now I'm telling the panel that whatever I configure on the stay profile, I'm also in the buzz profile of three. So if you wanna to go to the buzz profile, you go there, and now it's asking you which zones do you want to be on a buzz profile. So there you can see maiden bedroom passive, linen room no, and you see these bedrooms are saying no because they are automatically bypassed during the stay profile. So that is why they automatically say no. So then I come to that lounge passive and I want to put the lounge back as a buzz zone. So there it is now a buzz zone. Right, now if you want to stay on your panel, it's quite easy. You press and hold number five. Now on my alarm, I've set it that when you press and hold five, it asks you which stay profile you want. On yours, it might automatically arm the alarm in the stay profile. And if you press and hold five again, it kind of toggles through the stay profile. So if you see here on mine, I press and hold it, and now I've, I've literally got to select the stay profile that I want. Can you see it says stay armed? Two. Now in yours, you'll press and hold it and you'll see that it will toggle. Can you see now it's toggled? It says stay armed three. And you see it won't allow me to press it again because stay arm one is unavailable to me because I have a door open. So if I want to go to stay arm one, 
I have to go and close those doors. You can see that it says lounge sliding door. So I have to go and close those doors in order to go to stay profile one. Stay profile one on my alarm says that the doors are not bypassed, which means I need to go and close that sliding door. It says there, um, there's a few things that are activated. So I need to go and close those things before I can go to the stay profile one. And then if you want to disarm your alarm, you now have to put your user code in to get out of the stay profiles and then have your alarm back in the unarmed position. Now, interestingly, it says there lounge sliding door. And as you see, it wouldn't allow me to toggle to that profile. But what I can do is I can manually override it. You see, it's asking me stay profile. So I can press one star. And now it has allowed me to arm using stay profile one but then remember that that door is open. If I go and close that door, it won't activate the alarm, but if I close the door and then reopen it, it will activate the alarm. But as you can see, if I scroll now through the different profiles, there's stay profile three, you can see that it won't allow me to go back to stay profile one because that door is open. So I can go now and close that door Right, so I went and closed that door and now none of the doors are open and I should be able to toggle through to stay arm one. And there you can see I can now go through to stay arm one. Right, so now there's no movement in this house or outdoor areas. I'm now going to move and show you the buzz feature. Right, so there it says office passive and you can see that it is buzzing. Now I have to put the code in to deactivate the alarm. Right, so I put the code in to deactivate the stay zone. So what happened there is I had set it to stay profile one. I moved in one of the zones or areas of the house which was not part of the stay profile one. And because that zone was set as a buzz zone, instead of it activating the alarm and sending a message to the control room of the alarm company, it just buzzed. If I did not deactivate the alarm, it would have sent the signal to the control room. I'm now going to show you another method using the keypad in order to set up the stay profiles. Then I'll show you the idea Swift software method. Now the second method requires the installer code. The default installer code is four nines. So you press hash and then it's four nines. So it's and then it's star and it automatically takes you to the installer menu. Now what you need to do is you need to go to the location of that zone. Now remember that each zone is mapped to a location. So zone number one is actually 101. And all the properties of that zone are sitting here at 101. So can you see that it says zone bitmap one data one, right? So then you need to use the manual to have a look at all the options that are available under this bitmap location. So for example, can you see that it says one enable tamper? Number two, cross zone. Number three, shutdown zone. Four, silent alarm. Five, chime zone. And as you can see, you come to nine to 16, which are very important. Can you see nine on stay profile one, 10 stay profile two, 11 stay profile three, 12, four, and there are the buzz profiles. So using this table is actually quicker if you want to set up all your profiles and buzz profiles in one go. So for example, I'm on zone one, but I want to go to number nine of this zone so bitmap location number nine and can you see that it says n because stay profile one for this zone which was the sliding door the main bedroom sliding door was no and if i go to number 10 stay profile two was also no but do you remember that my stay profile three was actually yes i allow the sliding doors on this property to be opened under stay profile three. So that's why there's a Y there. Now, if I carry on, you can see there is for profile four. Now, I didn't set a profile four in this alarm system, so it is left as a no. Now, I have a look at the buzz profile. So can you see that you can also do your buzz profiles right here, right now? So zone one, the data for number 13, property number 13 of that zone is set to yes, because yes, I wanted to buzz if the sliding door is opened, even if it is stay arm one. And the same zone, if it is stay profile two, yes, if somebody opens the door, I also want it to buzz. And for stay profile three, no, I don't want it to buzz because remember that for this zone, the sliding door, it should be bypassed for stay profile three. Therefore, that is why that is a no. And then for number 16, that is for 
buzz profile four. Right, and I'll just show you with one more zone. Say I go to 102. So that is now the main bedroom passive. Now, as you can see, I've got my options. I'm going to scroll through to number nine. Now there, it says nine, yes, because the main bedroom is automatically bypassed under stay profile one, two, three, because it is a bedroom. Four is no, because I don't have a stay profile four active on this alarm panel. And then if you look at the buzz profile, look, they're all no. And the reason why they all know is because I don't want that zone to ever buzz because that bedroom is mapped to stay profile one, two, and three. Therefore, it should never buzz. All right. Now, if this is confusing, don't worry about it. Just press hash, hash, and leave it and use the first method I showed you. Right. Now, I'm going to show you the IDEA software and show you how much easier it is if you use the IDEA Swift software. Right. Now, I have the IDEA Swift software open. This is version 2.27. And the point of the software, it allows you a GUI which stands for graphical user interface to configure your alarm it's actually much easier than using the keypad now if you have a look here you can see I've selected the zone option and here are the 1 to 64 zones available on this panel now do you remember that when I was showing you on the keypad zone 1 said main bedroom sliding door now over here you can see my stay profiles do you remember that stay profile 1 that door was excluded from stay profile one, which meant that if somebody opened the door when I had it in stay profile one, the alarm would activate or actually it would immediately buzz. And then you remember that it was also not part of my stay profile two. And over here, you can see I've selected buzz profile two. However, for stay profile three, I want all the doors to be able to open without the alarm activating when it is on stay profile three or stay arm three. So that is why I've ticked this box. Can you see that if I try and tick the buzz profile for zone one, can you see it automatically toggles the stay profile three off? And if I toggle the stay profile three back on, you can see it toggles the buzz profile three off because you cannot have a stay profile and a buzz profile for the same zone under the same profile number. See, that's stay profile three, and this is buzz profile three. See, if I want the door to be on a stay profile one maybe i want to open that door while it's on stay profile one you can see it's immediately going to remove the buzz profile one tick here so if i put it back you can see i've now put it back to the way it was now do you remember i had zone two was the main bedroom passive now in this case i wanted the main bedroom passive to be bypassed for all the stay zones because no matter which stay profile i chose i want the main bedroom passive to be auto automatically bypassed when i activate stay profile one two or three remember you have four stay profiles but i am not using the fourth one because i have no need for it you may have a need for that stay profile now something that's very important and i didn't mention is that you must tell it which partition if this partition is not ticked then it won't work you've right so then i'll just go to zone seven because remember i spent quite a long time on that lounge passive zone and you can see that there it was on buzz profile one and that is why it wouldn't allow me to set it as a stay profile because it was already set as a buzz profile therefore i had to first go on the keypad and remove it out of the buzz profile or disable it as a buzz zone and then only enable it as a stay profile but you can see with the gui using the software it is much easier so you can just go through all your zones and just tick the boxes stick tick tick and then you are done this is why i prefer using the idea swift software and if you want to know how to connect the idea swift software to your panel please check my playlist of videos i provide two methods which include the serial interface cable there's also the option of the hyyp modem which allows you to do it remotely should you wish you do it over the air all right so that brings me to the end of this video and thanks for watching and cheers